Hey guys, today I am going to be repotting this Begonia Lucerna. This is the one that I have been saying has been drying out a little bit too quickly. Um, I can water it and then a day or two later it's dried out and it needs watering again. So I am going to be repotting it into this pretty little terracotta pot. It's the regular terracotta, but it's kind of swirled with the white, which I think is really pretty. I ran out of stones, so I'm going to be putting just a little piece of a paper towel at the bottom to prevent the soil from falling out. I need to pick up some more stones probably today because I'm going to get out for a little while. Okay, going to take this plant out of this pot and hopefully it will come out pretty easy. I love these little cane begonias. They are so, so cute, so pretty. Okay, so we got it out of the pot. That's what the roots look like. I'm not going to disturb the roots much only because we're still getting some cold weather here. It's February and I just kind of want to leave the roots alone for the most part. So, okay, we have the plant out of the pot. I'm just going to put some of my soil mixture in here. So this coming Friday is Valentine's Day, guys. I'm so excited. I really am. My husband has off, so we will be spending the day together. Not quite sure what we are going to do yet, but I'm sure we'll get out and do something fun. So I'm going to attempt to move this camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So I've placed some soil, um, probably just about a quarter or so of a layer of soil at the bottom. I'm going to see how this plant sits in the pot with that much soil. It's about a third of the way it filled with soil. And let me see, maybe just a little bit more. So yes, Valentine's Day is Friday. We will probably go out to dinner after doing something during the day, maybe do a little bit of shopping. We'll see. And hopefully the weather is going to be decent that will make it that much nicer. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm gonna start backfilling with some soil. Make sure she is situated in the center and she is. And by now you guys know what my soil mixture is regular soil mix with amendments, perlite, orchid bark, worm castings, yada yada. Okay. Around to this side, whoops. Yeah, it looks like she has some yellowing leaves, a couple at the bottom. Not bad, but just one or two. So this soil mixture will be a lot better. More nutrients. It will stay moist for a little bit longer than it was. And the growing season is coming. I can't wait for that. More sunshine, stronger sunshine, more growth on all of the plants. And the plants that aren't doing so great because of the lack of sunshine will hopefully start to pick back up here soon. My prayer 
plant, my lemon lime prayer plant has been getting a couple of yellowing leaves. Not bad, but I did notice the other day that there was like, oh, I wanna say there was like two or three on it. Nothing terrible, but I think they, all of my plants are definitely in need of some real sunshine. I know I need to pick up on my spring cleaning. I've got some things I need to do. Things I want to, like I want to clean out. Some things in my basement I want to clean out. Things in my closet that need to be cleaned out. So I want to attempt to do that here soon. On time, on time. Good. Almost done here. I love the way this looks in this pot. It's so pretty. Super, super pretty. I love these terracotta pots that have the white swirls throughout them. They just add that extra little something, you know? Instead of just a plain old terracotta. So pretty. They are so pretty with the little white swirls. I like them better than the plain terracotta. And I also love the taupey colored ones. The brown ones, they're pretty too. This one I think looks super cute in this pot because it has the pinkish orange underside to the leaves. Move this up a little bit. There. There. She's looking so much better. Look at that. I think she's gonna be happy in her new home. So pretty. Look at that underside of these leaves like this one right I think you can see let me see here this one this one no this one right here look at that wow so gorgeous yes really love these cane begonias I'm really enjoying these and I can't wait until my begonia maculata really starts to put on some growth I'm looking forward to okay, that okay so just going to water this one in real quick And then we will be done with her. She'd be looking really cute. Okay, I think we are done. Okay, my friends, that concludes my little repot for this Begonia Lucerne. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.